So, yesterday's video was about the importance of your physical space. And so today is about the importance of your digital space. To keep it real around here, we probably spend most of our time every day on some form of the internet, one way or another, on our phones, on our computers, on whatever. You know, we're on, we're on the internet all day, every day, baby. That's life now. I guess you could change that if you wanted to. I would recommend not being on the internet so much every day, but what can you do? Well, <laughs> what you can do is change your internet space for the better. And what I mean by this is, uh, be mindful about the kind of content you surround yourself with. Um, if you're, if you're always complaining about all this negativity that you're seeing on the internet and oh, I hate the internet. There's so much negativity all the time. This and that bad thing and this and that bad thing and oh, the world's falling apart. I mean, you know, I get it. I don't like uh, seeing a lot of uh, current events, I try to avoid them best I can because it stresses me out. I don't like it. ignorance is bliss in that case for me. But uh, I think it's also really important to realize, you know, you control what you see on the internet. And I don't just mean like you control whether you're on the internet or not. I mean, you control who you follow and the kind of content that is tailored to you. You control your Twitter feed. You control your Tumblr feed. You control your Instagram. You control your YouTube. Every single social media platform, you are the one that decides who and what you follow. <laughs> and if you're upset about the content that you're seeing all the time, then maybe you should really reevaluate who you're following and adjust. And it's also important to realize, even if you're not upset about the content that you're seeing, it's important to sit and have a little talk with yourself. Is this content healthy for me to be seeing? Um, is it healthy for me to be seeing all of these incredibly violent gifs and pictures and posts and this and that? Is it incredibly healthy for me to be seeing this, that, and the other thing about these current events? Is it healthy for me to constantly surround myself with digitally a thing that has been a negative influence, a negative part, or a negative trigger in my life in the name of venting, or uh, it's healthy for me to see it this way because it's not physical. I can see this type of content digitally because it's just dig digital. It's important to realize that uh, at the very roots of the brain's nature, you may consciously distinguish, oh, well, this content is digital, so it's okay that I'm seeing this unhealthy material this way because I'm not seeing it in real life. While it might be true that you're not, be, you're not seeing it in real life, uh, your brain doesn't know that. Your brain's gonna react chemically to the digital things that you see the same way that it would to see them in real life. If you surround yourself with, for example, a lot of gore, a lot of violent, not safe for work uh, things, uh, a lot of stressful world events, a lot of arguments, a lot of negative uh, thoughts and negative patterns and negative uh, expressions in the name of venting, 
your brain's just gonna take it as you getting those things in your face in real life and constantly seeing them. I mean, there's a difference in looking for validation in those things and just surrounding yourself by them and thus normalizing that thought pattern, normalizing that exposure, and worsening your mental health. You know? It's... I mean, I get it. I under... I absolutely understand, you know, seeking to use digital media as a way of, uh, I guess, expressing trauma, exploring trauma, trying to process, trying to get through it, but I think it's really, 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 really important to reevaluate those surroundings because they affect you more than you realize, I think. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe you know exactly how much it's hurting or helping you and you don't want to change anything. By no means am I trying to tell you to change things. Uh, simply just trying to say, perhaps you should reevaluate and uh, go from there because some sometimes you know you only get one chance here and I think that we could all be doing our best to make this one chance the best and most positive and most helpful and healthy and nice that it could be what can I say? I care. I care about your mental health. I care about your well-being. And I want to push you to take the best care of yourself that you can be. And reflecting on your behaviors as much as you can. Because ignorance may be bliss for some things, but definitely not for everything. And you gotta take that ignorance with a grain of salt. You know? I'm not a trained professional, but just trying to help where I can. So, thanks for tuning in. I hope that perhaps this inspired you to give yourself a healthier, and more uplifting online space. Yeah. Not too bad, I, I don't think. I think I said pretty well. So again, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you later.